Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. So just so you guys know, I am aware that apparently the Fossil and Archaeology Words Archaeology mod has updated and has included an Allosaurus apparently in the new update, which is very awesome. So hopefully by next episode I will have that updated and then we can see the awesome Allosaurus Assuming that we do ever get any DNA, since we're still lacking Brachiosaurus DNA, grrr! But hopefully our sifter room will continue to produce wonderful things for us. Going back in here, I've done uh, some stuff off camera. I've collected more dirt, so we are in the process of collecting more stuff. Biofossils haven't really been coming out that often, for these at least. This one, this one has five. That's, that's not bad. Oh... Um, I am still sick. In fact, I'm recording these last three episodes of Stuffins for the weekend all at one time because I'm going out of town this weekend. So, I am uh, still sick. Many apologies. I do apologize. Hopefully you guys understand. It's uh, not as bad as some of our other videos where I've been sick, but I mean, for some reason I get sick a lot. Meh. Maybe I should go outside and do something other than, you know, sit inside and play video games all day. Go outside, everyone. That's your That's your thing for today. So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be hatching our Gallimimus, which is something I know you've all been looking forward to a lot. But also I wanted to apologize for last episode how I forgot to fix all of these things before I tried to color them. The broken ones, you cannot color them, obviously. I even did that on camera and then the next time I tried, I forgot about it, because I'm an idiot. Remember kids, go outside and exercise. Don't stay inside all day, it's bad for your brain and your bodies. So. Now that we have fixed all of these things, we are going to make different colors. We are going to put two oranges here. Oh, actually we should probably do three, right? No? Just two? No, oh, yeah, three. Three. Because we, we, made, we made porcelain stuff, so now we need to do all three of these and make them all pretty. So let's make some room for these. I don't know if we're going to have room for all of them, so we may have to move some stuff around. However, we are going to make ourselves a red table. Now, it's strange that the red things, the red things use two ink sacs, two black and three orange to make it colored. However, if you switch one of these out for more orange, you get this, which is a black figure, despite the fact that you're using less black and more orange. But if you use more black and less orange, you get red. Neither of these is orange, and the black one doesn't use as much black ink. Like, I don't get it. The coloring stuff is strange. I'm very confused by it. Whatever. But we are going to make three of these red things, which are totally awesome. There we go. So we have the red figure M4, the red figure Volute, and the red figure Kylix or Kylix or whatever this thing is. And now, let's see, so that is the red we want to make the black, which for some reason does not use much black, but there you go. So the black figure Kylex, the black figure Volute, and the black figure M4. There we go. So we have three of those. We have some spruce wood for the uh, Kylexes since they apparently are very small. We are going to go into our museum-like thing, which uh, the roof is still not finished. I should really finish that eventually. And uh, I, I want to change some of these out because... Let's see. I, I like where the Kylix is. I think that this is nice. Let's change out the M4 with this color M4. There we go. That is nice. I like that. It's very beautiful. Look at that color. Look at that. Okay, so that was the red one. This is the black one, and I... Oh, wait, no. We should get the Volute. Yeah, the Volute. There we go. There we go. So, we now have three different colors and three different things. And, of course, this has, like, Velociraptors on it, apparently. That is awesome. I, um... Uh, I did not notice. Oh yeah, that's because the patterns are different. All right, well that's cool. I uh, I did notice that the patterns were that different. This one also has little dinosaurs on it as well, right? Very tiny dinosaurs, but dinosaurs nonetheless. All right. 
very nice. So, moving on up to... What's that sound? There's a slime somewhere and it's bothering me. Alright, so... What colors to use this time? Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. There we go. So if we do it like this, we have one of each color and one of each thing on each floor. Which is great. Because we have three floors, we have three colors, we have three items. It works out wonderfully. So, here we are. This is going to be our Gallimimus enclosure, I've decided, because I didn't know where else to put it. So it's going to be placed in here. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right now. It should stay nice and warm because there are torches near it. And I have... <clears> hmm. <throat> I have the glass right here, we're going to close it up. This will hopefully contain the Gallimimus. So, this thing has yet to be named. We haven't named a dinosaur on the series in quite a while, so... If you guys would like to have your name included in the series, because you guys don't get many opportunities to do that anymore, please let me know below in the comments, and I will check that out, and we will see what to name our Gallimimus. Hopefully it will hatch soon. I am going to check out... where, where can we put this stuff? Let's see, maybe we should put the black figure Kylix here. Kuplop. That looks, that looks okay right there. You can't really see it very well actually. Maybe we should... Maybe I should put this against the... Uh, against the wall so it stands out a little bit better. Uh... Feel, I feel like we need some more light in here. Alright, let's see. Maybe here? Yeah, there we go. That, that looks better. I like that. It stands out more. Let's see. So that one... How about this one? Where should we put it? Maybe just put it right here? So it matches. And then put the volute, maybe... This is white, so this should stand out. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very nice, I like it. So, I'm not really sure what to do for the next higher up thing, this this level. This level doesn't really seem like it would work very well with, uh, you know, stuff in it. Because it's, it's not very big. But maybe... If we put this here, and we put this here in the corner, like that, yeah, it doesn't look that great, but yeah, it, it'll do for now. Dinosaur egg is hatched! Where's our Gallimimus? Oh, look at it. Oh, wow, that texture's great. Look at that. Oh, that is amazing. Hello, little Gallimimus. It's so cute, little bird dinosaur. It's so adorable. I love how you're looking at me. Oh, you're so cute. You're gonna run around? I really hope that whatever your name is, I hope you don't escape and you run around and get out. This is your home. You should stay here. Don't go anywhere, okay? Don't glitch out and, like, go through a wall. That would make me really sad. Alright, so now that this is done, I think we are done in here for now. Mr. Gallimimus, don't forget to give me a name in the comments below. Let's see. Da -da -da. Stegosaurus skeleton looks terrible. I don't really like it. Whatever. It'll be fine. I think we should go and check... By the way, the Dilophosaur Frills, he's gotten so big, I don't know what's up with him being so huge. I don't remember Dilophosaurs being this big before, but whatever. Going back inside. By the way, we do have dinosaur news to talk about today, but it's, it's sort of short dinosaur news because it's beyond the scope of the series to explain exactly all this stuff. 
in the uh, the dinosaur news. So if you want to hear more about it, you can scroll down and click on the link to the article on Science Daily. If you click on the article, you can read all about it. I'm just going to give it a general summary. But first, I think we should collect these biofossils. See if we get any more awesome DNA, because we still need stegosaurs. We still need brachiosaurs. We still need so much... Wow, 10, jeez. That's nice. And two. Man, random number generators make me sad. Alright. Random number generators should stay in MMOs where they belong. Oh, yeah, never mind. I, I moved. I moved our, our analyzers. I forgot about that. So. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, I think I can do this without counting with my mouth. So, let's uh, see if I can discuss some, some recent news. Uh, I believe there was a SpaceX launch that I told you about last time, but I was unable to record it because I was out of town. I'm usually out of town on the weekends these days. Some of you know why. We're not going to talk about it. But anyway, so... Hey, <laughs> Allery. Uh, oh yeah, actually, I was supposed to say, Alri, I hate you so much, you're such a jerk. Haha, -ha. I hope you enjoyed me mentioning you in the episode. But anyway, moving on. Uh, so, there is not a SpaceX launch coming up soon. There is a SpaceX launch, I think in December is the, ne the next commercial crew resupply mission. However, in November, supposedly, we are going to get... A, an abort test, which if you guys... Oh my gosh, freaking bone meal and sand. Oh, everything stinks. Oh, Mosasaur DNA, that's that's not good. Oh, I'm so sick of sand and, and bone meal. Oh, sweet, Stegosaurus, thank you. Oh, yes, I'm so happy. And Spinosaurus, again. And some more Stegosaurus, nice. But yes, so we are going to have a pad abort test. For those of you who have no idea what this is, essentially rockets, when they go up, if there is a manned mission, they're inside of a capsule on the top of a rocket. Now, if something goes wrong with the rocket, you want to get your people on the rocket away from the exploding rocket as quickly as possible. We do that by aborting and basically shooting the top of the rocket off at very, very high accelerations to try to get the capsule away from everything else that is exploding. So they need to test that. They need to test that with the Dragon capsule, the Dragon 2 capsule, I believe. So that, I think, is going to be happening in November, maybe November 14th or something like that, I think. I don't think there's anything else scheduled for October. All right, everyone, so we're back. I have no idea what just happened with our game, but it froze for a second there. We're okay. Uh, I don't know what the last thing you may have heard was, but continuing on the abort thing. So, I believe there isn't anything happening in October, but in November we have a pad abort, and then in December we have a crew resupply mission. I believe. I'll have to double check the schedule, but I think that's what it is. For the dinosaur news that we're going to be discussing today, in addition to our wonderful Gallimimus being born, there was recently some... Some studies done by the University of Bristol and also a university in London, I believe, on uh, some more... Wow, getting so much Stegosaurus DNA, even though we didn't get any before. That's interesting. But yes, the dinosaur research was concerning sauropods. For those of you who do not remember what sauropods are, they're things like Brachiosaurus, which we still do not have any. Uh... But yes, the Brachiosaurs and uh, Titanosaurs were also Brachi not Brachiosaurs, but sauropods. The species of dinosaurs that had really long necks and they ate the leaves in the tops of the trees. Well, most of them did. Some of them ate other things, and that's actually what the research was about. The research essentially... Let's see if I can put this in here. Yay! Okay, we're good. I would like a Stegosaurus, please, and thank you. Please do not ruin the, uh, the stuff. Please make it. That would be great. Thank you. 
So, the research was concerning sauropods, and basically there is a particular place in the world where up to 10 or 12 species of sauropods were found in the same rock layers, which essentially points to the idea that they lived at the same time and they co coexisted, they cohabitated in the same region at the same time. Now, sauropods are big. They're really freaking big. Basically, the largest animals to ever walk on the planet. Not bigger than blue whales and stuff that swim in the ocean, but, you know, the biggest things to walk on the planet, on the land. So, 10 to 12 different species of sauropods cohabitating, coexisting in one area is really weird. And basically, paleontologists wanted to know why that happened. So, they took the skulls of two of the species and also looked at a few others in less detail, but two of them, they did a whole lot of detailed stuff. And they basically scanned the bones into computers and used all sorts of fancy things that I don't even really understand them all that well. Basically looking at biomechanics, which is the study of how living things move using things like their bones and muscle groups and things like that to try to estimate things like biting pressure, the range of movement of the jaws of these creatures, etc. So they looked at two of the species that were in that area. And although there was a theory before, a hypothesis more like, that the different species of sauropods ate different kinds of plants, which allowed them to cohabitate together because they weren't competing for food, the new stuff, the new biomechanics research that they did, points to even more evidence, not just evidence of looking at the teeth and saying, oh, the teeth are worn away in different ways. This sort of suggests that they ate different food. The biomechanical analysis gives you hard numbers, which scientists love hard numbers. All that uh, trying to be a hard science thing, although I'm pretty sure that paleontology is a hard science. Mm. They don't really exactly have living specimens, so they can't do the same stuff as biologists do. Oh, come on, hurry up, Stegosaurus. I want, I want a Stegosaurus egg so badly. But yes, so these hard numbers point to the fact that these two different species of sauropods mm. did indeed have different kinds of muscle groups and different kinds of biting actions and different levels of uh, skull toughness. So one kind had a much tougher skull used for like biting and chomping on hard leaves and things like that, whereas the weaker skulled one probably ate not so tough vegetation such as ferns, softer foods. Mm. And uh, they found some evidence for the other skulls as well, but we're not going to go into that. The point is, is that the research was awesome. They used all sorts of new technological stuff. Did I even do anything? No, this is apparently empty, more or less. To point to new hard number evidence that different sauropods had basically diverged in their niches based on their food, their diet, diet restricted niches or something like that I think it's called. If you would like to know more, click on the link in the video description below and you can read all about it. Science Daily I think is pretty good at keeping up with the dinosaur news. If you guys have any other dinosaur news that you would like me to read about, please let me know below in the comments. If you can't post a link then just send it to me on Twitter or Facebook and I'll check it out. Come on, Stegosaurus. <laughs> Hurry up and develop. I want you so badly. By the way, I have no idea how Oreo, I think is the name of our cat. I don't know how Oreo got on the bed, but I like it there. No. 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 Oh, there's one biofossil. Huzzah. I hate that I have to, like, leave my game running in this room and just wait for the dirt to sift down through so that we can get some biofossils. Mm. The Stegosaurus should be done by now. Why are you not done? Why do you do this to me, Stegosaurus? Why? Please, for the love of all that is holy, mm. just make your egg already. You're not going to turn into a monster. Do it. Do it! We can't end the episode without the egg, Stegosaurus. Come on! You are such a jerk, Stegosaurus. Why do you do this to me? Seriously, Stegosaurus? There you go. Alright, wonderful. So now we have a Stegosaurus egg. Still don't have a Brachiosaur. And hopefully after we update we can get an Allosaurus, as awesome as that is. 
no idea where I'm going to put that thing. Probably going to have to put it up there on the mountain, because why not? Alright then, so Stegosaurus. I wonder if we should put the Stegosaurus in part of uh, our museum. Stegosaurus is a little bit big though, I don't I don't think it'll fit up here. Gallimimus, you're so cute! So don't forget guys, please let me know what you would like to name the Gallimimus below in the comments. For now, that's all of the news and all the stuff that we have to talk about for today, so thank you so much everyone for watching. My name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.